Hey friends, how are you doing on this fine Wednesday? I guess it's Wednesday. Um, for me, it feels like a Friday because I am off work from tomorrow. So yay, just getting myself set up, getting the music going as per usual, cause I didn't do it in the two minutes that the thing was counting down. But how are you today? How is this video finding you? Okay. Right, you should be hearing some very light background music now to accompany us as we work. Um, yeah, yeah, co-working are fun. Welcome back. Hi, Adi. Addy. One of those two. Nice to see you here. Dart, I'd rather not have comments on my appearance. So that's why I've removed that comment. Um, today we're gonna try and finish. Oh, I feel like I'm jinxing myself by even saying that. The build of the site that I started last time. Um, yeah, the conference site. Let me get my things set up. I need a like, I need a solution that allows me to have a second monitor because right now I have my laptop <laughs> with the chat on it, and that is not ideal. If I had a second monitor, I could just share one screen and have the chat and like OBS also open on the other one. But my desk is too small at the moment. A fun liked VIP video? Great! I'm super glad you liked it. I'm really, really proud of that one. Um, that was a fun sponsorship to get too, you know? Like, I don't know, just that there's other YouTubers having sponsorships with, like, um, HelloFresh and Squarespace and that sort of thing. And then there's me having a sponsorship from the EU Intellectual Property Office. <laughs> I think it's very on brand for me. Um, yeah, big fan. Uh, why have I forgotten how I normally set this up? What is my work role at ConvertKit? I'm the creative um, director. Creative kid. <laughs> I just read it as ConvertKit. Um, yeah, it's called ConvertKit. I'm the creative director. Um, so I lead our brand team and like our brand and marketing design as well as like our brand positioning and stuff, I guess, is a good way to, to talk about it. Um, I'm essentially responsible for um, the affinity that we want creators to feel with our brand. Let me get my screen set up and ready to go. Are you all going to work on stuff while I work today? Tell me what is what you're up to at the moment. Is it really early for you? I know we might be way too early for some of the US folks at this point. Um, opening Webflow. Any comments on NFTs? Um, I'm not sure about them myself. I don't fully understand. And I don't like to invest in things that I don't like personally understand, you know? So I do not own a single NFT. And um, I think that's okay. Right, let's share the screen. Okay, we should be seeing the screen now. 5.36 a.m. for UX folks. Yep, that is very early. Um, and let's get into it. Let's open up Craft and Commerce site. I think I had everything in place, so I don't know if I need the Figma file anymore, but we will open it anyway. Wow, I have way too many Figma tabs, clearly. Let's just like close a bunch of these down, how about? Not oh, the desktop, yeah. Ta-da! Sorry, folks. You doing college homework? Nice. You doing a front-end mentor challenge? Cool, what does that involve? Are you building in Webflow while I am? That's fun. Um, okay, so this is what we've got. It's nice to come back to a design that you haven't seen for a few days and still like it, if you know what I mean. Big fan, big fan. Um, oh, okay. Well, let's start there as we go through. 
So I realized that in my CMS, I need, because I don't know of another way to do this. If you do know a way to do this, please tell me now. Let me know. Um, Basically, my problem is I want to be able to have the website, but without the HTTP whatever in front. So that means I have to go in here and copy this bit. You're working on the official F1 game. What does that mean, Dan? Are you working on completing it? Or are you doing some design for it? Forgive me if you talked about this in the past. 2.37 a.m. there. Whereabouts are you, Eddie? Why are you watching the stream and not sleeping? <laughs> hey, Christina. Just about to end your work day. And I'm just starting mine. Okay, I think that, um, yeah, those ones were. And then here we will change it to get the text from speaker website text. That looks better, doesn't it? Damn, that is so fucking cool. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry for just assuming you, you said you were playing it. Um, I just guess I couldn't fathom that someone who works on the game would be watching my stream. <laughs> Orange County. Whoa, okay, yeah, I guess it is super early for the, um, the Pacific time, huh? 6.39 p.m. in Malaysia. Nice. That's right, that thing was doing something weird. I need to give this a height, I believe. Um. There we go, that'll do, huh? Yep. But now we need to put some padding and stuff on it. Obviously, I still need to get the actual text, but um, I think we could use some more padding there as well. Oh, right. Interesting. Yeah. When you use grids in Webflow, I feel like the build of you makes it feel like there is a lot more padding than there actually is. Good morning from Romania. Nice. Operations dashboard doesn't sound as cool as cool as the F1 game UI, you mean? I mean, neither is designing a conference site, let's be honest. <laughs> plugins use Webflow. I am going to be honest, I didn't know Webflow had plugins. So no, <laughs> there is no plugins that I use. Hey Ryan. Hey Mylene. Nice that we've got like a, a little crew of, of regulars here. It's fun. Oh Chris, is that for your um, mentor thing? So they give you a design and then you practice making a site. Nice. That seems good because then you can like learn all the tools without worrying about the design side of things so much. Okay, so first up, let's check where we're at with this. Happy with how that's looking. I think that could use some more space. Let's see. 
let's put it on the speaker grid. And is that working? Yes, past me did that, that's good. Always nice when your past self looks out for you, huh? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna start writing a list of what needs to happen. Shall I write it on screen so that we can all see it actually? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we need hover states. Um, we need, I mean, mobile, obviously, not necessarily in this order. Um, I'm going to put final copy in there as well, because it's the, I don't actually have the information for adding the speakers in the copy, so we won't be able to quite get there today, but that's okay. Um, the video's in. Connect links, because I don't even have that register button going anywhere right now. And then, as so like a, I'm going to put this list in the order that I intend on doing it, I guess. I want to try some animation, question mark. Because I do think these images would look really cool if they did some sort of parallaxy thing. Um, and that'll be new for me. I've not done that before. So, yeah. Are those hand drawn lines images? Yes. These bits, do you mean? They are. Oh, that's right. That's what I was also thinking of. I'm going to put this in here. Is alt text. Because that's important too. Oh, nice, Karen. I think I forgot about that. Adding bullet points. Hello in Berlin, Florian. Okay. Let's get started on our to-do list then, huh? Feel free to make your own and drop it in the chat if you want as well. Wait, I kept all the images and things, right? Yeah, that image stayed, that image stayed. Good, good. Oh, wait, there was, um, this was missing. Uh, I still need to add that in. I think that's the only like little visual touch that's missing. Ah, and the underline. Let's start there. Add hand-drawn bits. Okay, so I think they're already in my assets. Let's take a look. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is have this in a span. I can do that somehow, right? Yep, yeah, wrap with a span. Okay. And then we're going to call it date underline. And then I guess I'm going to put that image as a background. Let's just try it and see how it works. We do not want it to tile. Um, we want it to sit in the center. Can I go like 110% from the top? Oh yeah, okay, that does work. Ah. Um, but maybe I need to put some sort of... Hmm. Ooh, what if I add... I can't add bottom margin to this? Inline block. Ooh. 
Okay, this is getting somewhere. How do you get those hand-drawn lines in the design system by manually positioning? So we're going to find that out, Deepak. This is how I'm doing it for this one. These ones are all attached to the image. Like, this is just attached to the image. This one is, like, kind of positioned, though, but I just used, um, like, a top margin to make it hang out there. We're going to see how that goes um, as I get into the, the mobile styling of things. But yeah, that seems to have worked for this line, at least. So one down here. I think I need to add an image into the section, possibly. Um, and we'll call this squiggle. Actually, I think I want it to be in the container so that it is like anchored to something. And we're going to do a positioning on it. Um, so this container, let's say relative and we'll make it position relative. Then this one can be absolute. Cool. And if we put it at the side, nope. Ooh, what happened there? No, of course, it's the bottom that I need to... Something like that? Eh, that's alright. It's not great. Maybe we do need to do a percentage. Kind of just doing the same thing, isn't it? I think I preferred the pixels. One day I would love to learn the correct way to do this type of stuff. Um, but for now, I think this is fine. Ninety degree rotate it over both color vectors. What do you mean? I kind of want it, do want it to sit. Like on this, if that makes sense. Eh, I think that's fine for now. Let's not waste too much time on it. Um, okay, we added bits. I'm going to just move it over here into a done pile. That seems like it'll be satisfying. <laughs> Hover states. Right. So I didn't set this up when I did my button. Um, so I'm going to come over to my style guide page and I'll do it here. So let's look at hover. Um, that is too dark, I think interesting though. Yeah, let's use that. And then we're going to put a interaction, like a transition on it. Transition on background color. I never know what like thingy to use here, so we'll just leave it as it is. Now 
No, I don't like that color because it kind of makes it look like it's graying out. Um, let me find our actual what the hover state color is we use for our brand. This one, that'll be better then. Let's add it in here. Yep, that's better. Cool. Uh, what about a dark button though? I feel like it'd be hard to make this go even darker, you know what I mean? So maybe we can go... Nah. Let's just see what that would look like if we did it in that color. Thanks, Kath. Add on our background color tra transition. This is my favorite part of Webflow is the when we get into the transition stuff. I have to see how that's feeling in the space, but I have a feeling it's not going to be good. I think I might need to try this going a bit lighter idea. Why not white? Um, because the text is white and I pr would prefer just the background color to change. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do it on the hover. <laughs> Let's see how it looks in the space itself, huh? Cool. I think that's fine. It's very subtle, but I think it's okay. I also just remembered that something I wanted to do was add a floating navigation, which really is going to extend the timeline of this thing. I wanted to have this sort of sitting at the bottom. Oh, here we go. Here's a good example um, of each page. Just so that there's always a CTA, if that makes sense. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to add some more CTA buttons throughout and we'll leave it as a one pager um, and address that later. Um, okay, so now I need to find the link. Which hopefully it can copy and paste from my MacBook. Please. Yes. Right, so we go here. This one. Wait, oh, I'd already added that one. Don't know why I didn't do both, okay. Right, so now let's take this button. We're just gonna copy it and put it here, I guess. Would be good to have it in this column, possibly. Yep. Put it at the bottom of it. Ah, okay. So that's gonna mean I have to change this whole situation. That's okay, that's okay. We can do that. What was, how was I doing that to start with? Like 
Like, why has adding the button caused that? Can I toggle visibility? No. Let's just take it out. Wait, but it's still different. I'm confused. Oh, that's right. It's the grid thing. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put it back in and see what happens if I preview. Yep. So it is still there. Good. We'll add one at the bottom of this plan as well. Eep, I've lost my chat. There you are. It's really confusing using two different keyboards. <laughs> um, what is this section called? Agenda text. Okay, yep, we want it in there, please. And maybe we'll take off the margin top 60. Yep. Cool. I feel happy with that. Um, what other links do I need to add in? This is already a link. Oh, but it needs a hover state, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'm going to take the margin off it for a sec. And we can use the same color that we used. Oh, I also like the idea of maybe doing a bit more letter spacing for the hover state. That could be fun. Let's see how it looks. Add a transition for letter spacing and also for a text color, font color. Okay, too much, but I like in general how that's going. Um, let's make it just 1.5 letter spacing, 1.2 maybe, so it's very subtle. Oh, too subtle. <laughs> I like it. So we'll use that style for any other links across the site as well. But right now, those are the only text links, I think. Welcome, James. Seems like I'm a bit slow. <laughs> All right, Nasir. <laughs> I mean, rude. <laughs> oh, this needs to be a link. Um, interesting. I forgot to put it in a link block. So let's add a link here. Hmm. I'm actually going to take the margin off that and add it to the Oops, did not mean to type in caps. Um I have a mechanical keyboard that I painted myself and the ah, God damn it, I don't want to The caps lock key doesn't have a light on it, so I always forget when it's on. Or like, can't see when I've accidentally pushed it. Okay, so this is going to link to the ConvertKit homepage. Ooh, something else that needs to be done that won't be done today. Um, oh, I've lost my list. There it is. Tracking and um, cookie banner. That's something I'm gonna get Corey to help with. But yeah, I'll put it on the list so that I don't forget about it. So this will link to our homepage and I need to give it a hover state 
where we'll have it go. Where's its opacity? Maybe 85%? Hey Ben, I am doing well. You think links that grow move on hover are annoying? I don't know, I think it's gonna look cool. It's it's um, left aligned, so it's still in the same place. I'm having a bit of fun with this site because it is not like a, you know, conversion focused marketing site where I would absolutely not do that something like that on our main site. Okay, and then we can, yep, copy, do the same thing here. Let's see, will that automatically have the, yep, hover on it, that's good. Now we need to add the link. Cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure for these we usually just link to the same ones that are on our main site. Privacy policy. Terms of service. Hello, Jay, we see you. <laughs> um, and for this link, we will have it go. Yeah, that color on hover. Transition font color. Cool. I think that might be our links connected. Great. Okay. And that's our hover states as well, isn't it? Two and one. You don't know how to off caps lock. I'm working on Figma. I'm not working, well, I mean, I used Figma to design the site and now I'm building it in Webflow. Links connected. Okay, alt text now. I'm basically just delaying doing the mobile stuff, aren't I? But I mean, it's good to have all this stuff in place. Um, this one we will call decorative. Same with this one. This one, we def definitely need to put in, what does it say? Cool. An image of a man having a great time on a dance floor. Um, that one's more decorative. Um, I've been thinking Adventures in my Among Edges, now that you say this, um, I've been thinking that I might spin up like an email list for if you want to be sent an email when I go live on YouTube and then I can just, using ConvertKit, just send that out to the people who want to be notified. Um, let me know if that would be useful because I can definitely set that up. How often alt text used? It's used by screen readers. So you just, I'm just making sure that with this, if it's something that um, someone with a screen reader, screen, screen reader would need to see that they get context for it. 
I'm gonna call all these ones decorative in the header though. Um, okay, and here I think I can set up the alt text. Yeah. Get alt text from speakers and we'll call it... Um, actually, maybe it's just marked as decorative because it would just say their name and then... That would say their name again, wouldn't it? So that wouldn't be good. Aaliyah, thank you. I forgot what you said your name was. Um, so that's why I read out your full full name. Oh gosh, I would not recommend putting Twitter notifications on for me. Um, I tweet far too much for that. Okay, let me go just quickly right now in ConvertKit. Oops, we don't want to do an admin login. That's not really necessary. Eh, oops. What? Oh, users login, my bad. And I will make a page right now for you to be notified. Um, do I have one that I could just duplicate? Can't remember what this one looks like. This one will do, right? Let's duplicate that. I heard the door. One sec. Let me just take this mark. Okay, so we duplicated this. Let's call it take out this date because oh Janice that's interesting um what issues did you have when you tried through the website because I thought we made it like just publicly available working how about I need to publish this page first publish oh save So it can take a while to build, but oh, well, it's there. Okay, let me drop this link in the chat. Here we go. You can sign up there, pages.tellingmaru.com slash coworking. And yeah, when I go live in future, I'll make sure to send an email just to people who are on this list, because I'm sure that my whole email list doesn't want to know every single time I go live. Wasn't that a great impromptu convert kit demonstration as well? <laughs> Okay, back to it. Um, what was I doing? That's right, alt text. 
decorative, decorative. This is definitely decorative. Oh, this one is definitely needs something. Oops. Gosh, that was interesting UI. I don't know if you noticed that. I almost just pushed delete like as a way to save that. <laughs> this one say yeah in convert kit you mean no fun I've been using webflow for quite a few years now and I do really like it especially um I, I just feel like hang on wait, I'm typing and I can't talk and type at the same time um I feel like the team are making so many good improvements and like they are constantly improving that it was a good thing to like hitch my wagon to early on if that makes sense. Uh, and that one can be deleted because I didn't use that one. And this one can too. Right, same for me, Marlene. This playlist is like, it's focus time. <laughs> okay, cool. That is the alt text done. Now we move on to the hard part, folks. But if we get through this, then we get to be rewarded by doing some animation. So it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Okay. So this is what it's looking like in desktop. Let's go down a level. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's all right. We can fix this. Um how did I position these again? That's right, like that. So we can just sort of like, I think we're gonna wanna shrink these images, aren't we? On mobile. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Ooh, shit, that's right. Also, bugger. I just remembered that I did not figure out how to make that happen. Like right now there's no sideways scroll, but if you get here, there's sideways scroll for this image. I'm gonna take a look at our marketing site and see how Corey does it on this image. Cause I know that this like sits to the side, but it doesn't cause a sideways scroll. See? Yeah, Sam, I think that more and more people will do this just because it's like what Web Webflow is built for, right? The, C the Webflow CMS is super powerful as well. Like it's much easier to do custom stuff than Webflow, but it, I mean, it still has its own issues. Okay. So why, why is this one not causing sideways scroll? Help me figure this out, folks.
Because I put no overflow on the body and it just, um, I mean, it made the whole page like you couldn't scroll it, which makes sense. Overflow X on the body tag. Okay. Let me, let me take a look at that. Um, yeah, maybe this is where Hmm See, it's le it lets me put it just over no overflow in general, but obviously that's not what I want. Although, is it working now? Oh. Huh? Let's publish this to a staging and see. Because I thought I clicked this the other day and it didn't work. Yeah, you're right. It might have to be a custom. Yeah, see? Okay, there we go. It's not scrolling. Right, so yeah, let's do what you said. We're gonna take that off. And... We can do it in here. Hmm... Am I typing this correctly? Is Webflow similar to WordPress Builders? Um, I don't know, honestly. I've never used one of the WordPress Builders. That's not true. I have. Um, I think you can do similar things with it, but your end result is going to be better. Okay, so now we are scrolling down and we're still scrolling sideways, so clearly I did not write that correctly. Oh, is it because my body has a capital letter for some reason? Let's rename that. Let's see as well if someone's... So this is from 2016 that it wasn't solved. Here we go, this is a... weird that they haven't implemented this yet. I feel like it'd be a really common thing that people want to do, huh? Oh, I see. So maybe I could do it with the Webflow code if um, I put everything in a div. Let's give this a refresh, see if that worked. Nope, still doing it. What am I doing wrong? Is it not none? Is it hidden? Is that the correct? Let's 
see. Hidden, right, so it's not none. There we go, my bad. This way it wasn't working. No, I mean, Ben, none would make sense. That's what I would have instinctively done as well. Hey, we got it. We got it. Fantastic. Yay. Okay, that's good. Now time to deal with this mess. Okay, so how do I make this image shrink on mobile? I might have to do some manual content styling here. I'll just like manually position these and then we'll see how it goes when um yeah so what size did I do for that one 50% okay so let's make this one 50% of the size as well oh why did you get bigger <laughs> Oh, right, because it's, yeah, 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 never mind. That was a stupid question. Then you, I want to, yeah, sort of sit like there. That seems good. So I think I'm going to have issues in the builder while I'm doing this, but hopefully not when it's live. good I'm gonna publish after this and just see how it's all looking because I know I'm doing some very hacky stuff yeah that looks pretty good Okay, let's see how this goes. Um, no, it's not possible to use Webflow locally. You have to use it in the browser. Just like Figma, it requires an internet connection. Ooh, something else I just thought of. Is, what's this called again? Why am I forgetting what this is called? You know, the little icon thing. What's that? What's that called? <laughs> so things go a bit funky right there. Um, I think maybe we want to... Kind of okay though. Interesting. Favicon, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, Favicon, how do you pronounce it?
just a little brain fart. <laughs> okay, that's working for now. Let's um, go on with the rest of the design. So I think we will have this go full width in our column. Um, yeah, at this point, right? That would make sense. So we want our grid. Uh, no, we want to do the stuff in it, don't we? Let me do this so I can... We'll have this text go across all 12 columns. Um, ooh, we can still do something with our video, though. Hmm. We won't want to have any side margin anymore. Right? Exactly, Jacob. Okay, Ben, that does a still doesn't help me. Hardbeat. Favicon? Favicon? Like that? <laughs> it's hard to, like, type pronunciation. Interesting that that one's shrinking. Is it because I did a relative on it? I don't know. Okay. So. Yeah, let's shrink the call out a little bit, I guess. Right, two separate words. I see what you're saying. <laughs> it's, this is so hard to like lay out in the editor because of like the way it's all going. Um, let's just publish as it is, I guess. We're just going to publish as we go. Maybe if I... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I see I need some padding between. Ah, that's because I had a negative top margin. So at the screen size, we will get rid of that. Cool. Why are you going so small? Um, and we want you... We'll take your side margin off as well. Yeah, okay, this guy. Why are you shrinking? Let's have you go to... Ah, oh, because the columns shrink. Of course, of course. Okay, we'll have you go to column 9 and 12, and then you go to column 8, so make you a little bit wider. Yeah, that works, I think. Um, we need this image to not be quite so high. Hmm. Can I just put a margin on it? Will that work? Is that a spam? Do you think it's a good idea to list my website's projects as loaded websites or mine? Mm. I think it'd be better to put 
images on your site and then link out to the full one. That did not work as intended. How do I get you to sit? Maybe I need you to actually just be in the last row and then we do a negative margin from there to bring you up a bit. Oof, we have to do it quite a lot though, don't we? No, I don't think that's right. I think it's good to keep it where it was. And just add more margin on top. Okay, then we need much less space here. Why has it got so much space? There's only a 50 pixel. Um. Oh, that's how I push the other one down though. Okay, well, I should, yeah. I should just do that, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. Yeah, there we go. That's how I did it. I knew there was some sort of positioning involved. But seriously, where is that big space coming from? There's no bottom margin on this guy. There's only a 60 pixel here. I need to publish that and see what happens. How do you deal with position absolute element in responsive screens? Um, well, by positioning, you can like pick where it goes out of the screens. But also I'm just like open to letting it do what it wants to do. <laughs> No, I had one open at the right size, didn't I? Oh, okay. So it's not there on the live side. That's so frustrating. Why does it do that? Oh, well. Okay, well, let's move on to tackling the next section. So I think three across maybe still works at the screen size. Eh. No, I think it's a bit tight. Maybe we should go down to just two. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, and now is when I learn I need to put some sort of probably need that here too. There we go. Yay, 
Yay, that's the point of these streams for sure. Co-working stream. It goes both ways though, like tell me what you're working on. Okay, what should I do about this? I kind of feel like this needs... to go on the other side and like maybe even be a different image where the arrow was on the other side, if that makes sense. Yeah, let me export this. So we're going to do like a hidden on mobile, um, hidden on whatever, <laughs> full width thing. And let me remember to go and do the alt text while I'm here. Eileen's writing accessibility recommendations for a client site. Nice. Working on a cafe website. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I will say that if you don't want someone to narrate, then don't watch the stream. <laughs> so I'm glad you're enjoying it. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, starting work at 8 p.m.? No, that's too late. You need to be ending your day by then for sure. Um, let's go with the hidden desktop and we'll do a display none. And then from here on it needs to be visible. Then this will be a Cool. And then we will use grid stuff to put it in the third column. Oops. Third column, please. Wait. How many columns is this grid? One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay. Then I take it back. I want you in the fifth column. You're asking the same question? Can I finish this web plus site today? Nice. What do you think? What do you think the chances are of you actually finishing it? I feel like the chances are fairly good of me. I have meetings in two hours. So if I can get through this, then I will be in a good place to Why is that? Oh right. Boo. Uh... Okay, I'm going to remove that. Um and apply it here on Yep. Sorry, I keep distracting myself mid-sentence, don't I? Mm, I kind of want this to sit at the bottom of the grid. There we go. Cool. Nice. Your chances are 70%? I think my chances might be more like 90%. We'll see. Oh, 
Oh, Ben, hearing you describe that website is making me want to go to a coffee shop. I haven't, like, worked from a coffee shop for so long. I already feel like I need another coffee. We might have a break in a second, go grab one. Mm. Yeah, so this is looking weird now. Why is there so much space? Mm, that's okay, we reduce the space. Where is it? Where is it coming from, though? Did I put something on the? I did eighty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll reduce that then. Do I feel like? Yeah, I feel like both the top and bottom needs more padding now. Hey, Rafe. Okay. This little guy, Mr. Squiggle here. Let's see how that goes. Okay, what is this section doing automatically? Not bad. Do I want to maybe shrink the image a little bit? I don't know. Did it as a background. Um. Ah, cool. So if I just reduce this, it'll reduce the size of it. And I think I need to have this taking up... Uh, seven columns. Whoops. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That means it needs to start at number five. We'll publish in a second, see how that's feeling. I think the FAQ's doing okay. Um. Ooh, idea. I think for this... Okay, this footer might need some restructuring. I think we have this at the top and then this on one side and this on one side below, right? Which means breaking this out. Okay. I'm trying to think about this. Um, the fin suite extension? What's the fin suite extension? Okay, thinking, thinking. If I break this out, this is going to break things for a second, but that's okay. Um, the grid needs to have... Yeah, it's got two rows. Okay, good. So I'll have this in one column, one row. This in column one, row two. And then this taking up two rows. Boom. 
So that puts it back in place there. I do think I need more space um, above my footer bar. Okay, and then, wait, did I add? No, okay. Then on this screen size, we can make footer content go across, how many columns is it? Is it two columns? Yeah, across two columns. And we will also center it. And then, yep, there we go. We will absolutely not accept things like that. How do I? Okay. Cool. Let's publish this and see where we're at with the screen size. Then we got the two more to go. Yeah, where's Corey? <laughs> He's off today. Um, he has better things to do than watch my stream on a day off, which is fair enough. <laughs> Don't love this, but don't hate it either. Mm, should we see what it looks like without being centered? Because that is something that I added last minute, wasn't it? I think that's probably better. Messi or Ronaldo? I choose neither. The only sports I follow are F1 and skateboarding. And even then, it's really only F1. I mostly enjoy watching skateboarding live more than watching on TV. Though I did love watching it in the Olympics. Are we still good with two columns for our FAQs? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, next screen size. Let's see how messed up our header is, huh? It's not so bad, huh? Like, I feel like I don't even have to make any changes to that. Sweet. Yeah, I guess because I did, um... 5, 6, 8. Okay. Mm. So here's where we might want to start... No, I think the video is still good like that, but I I do want to move this down. So you, um, why did I put it on that? That's annoying. I meant to put it on. What was it? Was it 72? I can't remember now. Max or Hamilton, who are you rooting for? Check out my shirt, man. <laughs> Maybe that'll give you a hint. <laughs> Definitely Hamilton. I want to see him beat that record. Do I build another languages too? Nope, I do not. These days I really only use Webflow, to be quite honest. Um. Yeah, we clearly need to do something about that photo as well. <laughs> okay, so Akash, you're a Hamilton fan as well? Here, I think we're going to need to split these onto two separate 
lines. That's okay. We'll have this go full width and then this actually be on row 2 and maybe span columns 4 and 5. Maybe we'll remove this call out on mobile actually. I'm going to rename this to hidden tablet. Oops. Yeah. Ooh, idea. Unless, 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 we have it be the other way around. But this is in column, I mean row two. I think that could work. Way too much space there. We'll deal with that. Wait. Oh, right. Right. It's because then the... As soon as that jumps up. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, from here I think we need... Actually, I think that might still be okay. Oh, I'm too wide. Let's just publish where we're at right now so I can be clear on where the breakpoint is. Hello, we have two Akashes in the chat. <laughs> loading, loading. So where does this happen? I think I want these icons to sit up the top rather than in the center. We might change that. Yeah, I'm still okay with this. Still okay with this. Oh, okay. Now we have an issue. When does that start? Okay, yeah. Look at that footer. Lovely. Right, so... At the screen size, we are going to... Do a vertical on this. And add... Bottom margin. Uh, do we want to center it? I think we'll do this as well. Cool. What were my other issues on this bit that I needed to address? Um, I feel like at this point, this price crossed out bit should actually... stack. Let's have a look at that. How did I set this up and how difficult will it be for me to change? Price and then final price block. Okay. Um, okay. 
And then if this goes vertical, and then if we remove the margin from the side, maybe that? I don't know. We'll publish and see. I think it is time for another coffee before we jump into the smallest screen size. So please, um, I'm going to write a message here so that if anyone joins the stream for the two seconds that I'm out getting coffee, they know where I am. And you can let them know in the chat too. I know that like fancy Twitch streamers have like a back soon screen. I do not have that. So I'm just going to leave you with this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right, back with the coffee. I need like a cat cam or something for these moments. Cheers. Just a little Nespresso, espresso shot. Okay, I had just shipped, hadn't I? Yep. I think I want to be able to this guy needs to hang out you can hear me right yeah just checking that my mic was working <laughs> um, he can go yeah to the right there Ooh. 
No, don't stand there. Good. Fuck. No, no, good. Shit. Okay, well. Um, thanks, Nora. I need to go grab a tissue real quick because she just spilt that coffee that I made everywhere. Damn it. I saw that coming too. Tell people in the chat if they come because I need to go clean this up. She like <laughs> leapt off my desk and pushed my trackpad. And so then all of my coffee that I just made went everywhere. <sighs> this is the like benefits of a stream, right? <laughs> you see in the real life. <laughs> Obviously I would edit this out if I was making a video. Oh, she got on my camera. Nora! You want to see the culprit? Come here. Look what you did! Do you feel guilty? Hmm? She's cute altogether. Well, that wasn't a bit of an adventure, huh? <laughs> yeah, let her clean up the rest. That sounds great if she would actually do it. Okay, I think that we're good. And I am going to watch out for her and make sure she does not climb on the desk again. She uses it as like a thoroughfare to get from her window sill to, I guess, this. I like. Um, platform thing she has by the other window. <sighs> okay, I think we're all still working though, right? <laughs> Luckily it didn't go... Didn't get into any technology apart from the bottom of my camera. Which I think is fine. Okay, what was I doing? <laughs> Uh, I think I had just done what I wanted to do with this, didn't I? Take number two with the coffee. She seriously spilled the whole fucking thing. Oh, they were no coffee, yeah. But now I made a new one, so. We kind of wasted an espresso pod, but that's all right. Mm. Cool. Happy. Moving on. So this is 320 pixels. Let's see when we reach it. I think these photos are actually behaving kind of okay. Um, they could be a little bit bigger here, I guess. Yeah, especially that little one down below. Okay, we'll just deal with you. I'm not sure when the change happens. I think it, yeah, I don't know. We could have issues here. 
Do you have pets? Do they do annoying things too? It got all over my, um, what's it called? Analog note cards that I use from Ugmunk. There's a coffee soaked bottom to it. And now it's like not standing up properly in its holder. Oh God. Okay, let's see. So it happens right at there. Okay. Mm. I feel like this underline needs to change at this point then. Yep. Okay. Um, but are we happy with this arrangement of the images? Let me look at it on my actual phone and see what it's looking like. Oh, I love how the pink looks. Okay, no, so I think they need to be slightly bigger. Okay. Let's deal with this because it's annoying me. Can you use Webflow and Shopify? I don't think you can. margin oh that's good okay cool okay images um i think we can reduce the space here as well um where have i got that happening right there okay so Let's try that and I'm just going to publish to refresh. Maybe I should have tried doing the animation I wanted to do on these images to start with. Because what if I have to change the way it's coded, you know? Ooh, and we have some mean sideways scroll happening on mobile. Why is it happening on... Uh, hmm... Okay. Overflow happening on mobile, but not desktop. Why is that happening? I wonder if that's because of something else, but no, it seems like it's this image that's pushing it out. Maybe? Maybe I shouldn't worry about it just yet. Yeah, you can, um, in Webflow, if you'd go here to the code thing, you can export all the code. But it, it won't work with any CMS stuff. But see how it writes, like, nice tidy code for you? Including the, like, JavaScript. And... Wait, that's not... Yeah, that is, yeah. Okay, refreshing. There's a link in my description, I believe, on this video. If you want to try Webflow and you haven't signed up yet, I would very much appreciate if you used my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it means that I get a little kickback from Webflow for recommending. Okay, let's make this image bigger at this point. So you're going to be... Yeah, 60. 
And then you're gonna be 35 still, but we're gonna move you over a bit. And then you could be bigger as well. What did I make you? Oh. We'll see how this actually looks in a sec. and see. How long have we been going for? I feel like... Oh, there. Almost two hours, right? I am enjoying streaming on YouTube for like the... mostly for the after the fact. Like I've noticed that people watch these streams back. Hi people, if you're watching this not live. Um, you should join us live next time though. <laughs> Uh, there's that, wait, wait, where is the, yeah, pages.charliemarie.com slash coworking if you want to be notified when I go live by email. You can do it through YouTube as well. But yeah, I've noticed that a bunch of people do watch after the fact, which is really cool. So I feel like the streams have more of an impact than Twitch, perhaps. Okay, that's not ideal, so we can't have that image up so high. Let's have it be purposefully lower then. Okay, cool. Ooh, this will be the thing as well. What is the thing I have to add? I always forget about this. It's like break word or something? I don't remember. But I do want to make my headings a smaller size on mobile. So we'll do all H1 headings at this point. Um, Let's try, should we drop them down a whole 10? I don't know, let's try 50. Then on the body, can I also put, fuck, I'm not sure what breaking to put. Hmm. No, I'm sure you can do it using this one of these settings. Let's just try one of them and see, because I can never remember what it is. I don't know, man. Let's try that. I don't know if I'll actually be able to test if that's working until I figure out why. Um, what's causing the sideways scroll to totally my lean and it can yeah I mean it's still the same thing right that you can still feel like it's live what other designers do you watch co-working streams of I would love to follow more Uh, 
Okay, so I actually think it's something else. Is it this that's causing it? Maybe it's that. Let's see what happens if we put this in this grid. If it just has one column. We still have a lot of sideways scroll, but I don't know. No, so maybe it is this image? Because there doesn't seem to be anything down there. I don't know. We'll get that figured out. Okay, back to my phone. Did I ship with that new... Yeah, I did. Font size. Okay. Right, so for here... Yes to row two. But now we want to have essentially everything being across 12 columns. And then this, uh, but we want it to sit at the side. Video, also 12, row 3, row 3. Um, then this should be row 4. Yeah, we'll just say row four. And 12 columns. Okay, wait, oh, I've missed my... This call out. That one should also be 12. Ah. Mm. Five. Then this one, six. So now everything should be stacked. Yep. Um, my body, it does, but it's in custom code because I only wanted to overflow on the, um, the X axis. Yeah, I might need to do that to try the wrapping concept instead of applying it to the body itself. I don't know. We'll keep working through it though. We'll see when we get there. I'm going to publish where we're at now, actually. Because it's weird. It's like something happened at this point because it wasn't... I mean, I guess it was overflowing here too, but it wasn't... And yeah, like it's not overflowing in Chrome, right? So there's something about it being on my phone, like some of the way that I've coded it, I don't know, that's causing this. Um, actually, let's just try this now. Let's try making a, what is the, yeah, there we go. Let's make a div and let's call it overflow none. And let's put everything inside this div just so that I can be sure I tried that option. Let's 
go in order. And I don't think we broke anything. It's still looking good. I mean, it's still showing an overflow on in the builder. It does seem like it's this image, doesn't it? I wonder if on from this screen size, I could actually apply. Oh, um, damn it. I only want to apply overflow to one side for fuck's sake. Mm. I don't want to chop off the bottom of it. Maybe I just need to expand, like put some padding on this container to... Okay, whatever. Let's just try publishing now and seeing how that affected things anyway. Hey, Tyron. Whereabouts in the world are you that you just finished school and now you're back? Okay, let's try on the phone first. Oh, I think that worked. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. And it's still the same on here. That's good. Okay. Cool, I guess. So it's still doing it on there, but it's 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 not anymore. On my phone. Okay, I don't know, I'm confused, but whatever, great, that worked. <laughs> oh nice. Wait, you finished school that early? I thought school went into all like, I don't know. In New Zealand, school went to like, to like 3 p.m. Yeah, we're in the same time zone, Tyron. Okay, so we need... Hmm. What is causing... Oh! That means we've been streaming for almost two hours. Let's restart the playlist. Okay, time to start working faster through this. We've got this, let's keep going. Um, I don't want this section to have... No, I think this text needs to be slightly smaller because it's really bugging me that... I know, what if we just change the copy? <laughs> Then it won't look as weird. Ah, that makes more sense. I thought school would go too later than that. Well, good for you. You have a shorter day. Okay. Um, so this needs zero padding at the top. I think I need to do a different arrow here as well. Like, let's do one of those hidden visible thing. Um, I did not create a font scale, like for, I didn't create responsive styles for my fonts, if that makes sense. So 
So we'll have it do this. Let's change how we're doing this and let's go. Yep. And we want to apply to this one. Probably want a different one for this as well. Landing page tips for a landing page for a game. I would advise you to think about um, like what the purpose of the page is. Is it to convince someone to download the game? In which case, think about what would lead someone to want to use it. What naming convention do I use for this? Quillard hyphen two. So on this we go visible mobile only and then this one is hidden mobile perfect oh and i need to remember to add in the alt text for both of these let's do that right now before i forget And this had a huge bottom border on it that we do not want at all on mobile. Why is that happening? And is what is it doing on my phone? Do I ever help design the product UI UX? I do not. I give feedback to the designers, but that's not my role. Okay, well, this is looking good on mobile. Oh, I forgot that what I wanted to do with these, though, which I might as well do right from the start, was... Mm. Ooh, don't like that. Can I add some padding, maybe, to counteract the hitting? Yeah, there we go. That's good. And then... If I do this, will it... No, not go in the middle of the page like I want it to, of course. What would I need to push to... Maybe 
That one? Nope. Is this not part of... Yeah, it is. Oh, right, because this isn't flex. I see, I see, I see. Why is it doing that? Let's publish and see. Do I center the icons? Um, no, I want them to be aligned to the text up the top. Let's refresh. Ooh, you know what's going to look good? Just as I'm scrolling my recent changes. I want to have this sort of overlap. So we want to put a negative margin on it, actually. But I'm not sure how much it needs. Something like that. And then a little more space above on this one. Okay, the button's doing what I want now, that's good. Um, not quite sure what to do with this image though. Like, maybe I just want it to hang out in the middle and not have any sort of negative margin at the side. So this is a also an H1 though, so yeah, that is too big. Right, we're gonna shrink the heading some more. Um this call out can be a bit bigger on mobile. So we'll have it take up two columns and the squiggle we will have be 80% width I'm gonna do another ship and see where we're at I feel like we're getting close, which is good because I'm also running out of time. Oh, I just love it. I think it looks looking really cool. Okay, so it works to click on the video. This image needs some top margin on it. And we need less space below as well. Mm, 
The overflow is not happening um, on mobile. So don't worry. Though it is doing something weird with... I don't know. I feel like it's... Okay, what should I do with this section here? <laughs> Which looks like a mess. Right here, obviously. Um, I don't. I think this is Webflow's grid thing that is causing this. I don't know. Uh, I think we will do photo above, text below. Or do we do? Text above, photo below. So this is going to span all 12 columns. And this is going to also span all 12 columns, but start on the second row. Yo, what you doing? <laughs> right, and it will not have any negative side margin. Where the fuck did the image go? <laughs> And why have you got a padding? Where'd that come from? See, what are you inherited from? Who the heck knows? Mm. Oh, it's because I've used it as a background image, isn't it? It's not. There needs to be padding to... I think I'm just going to make this an actual image. On mobile it would be much easier to deal with. Into slump. That's how you know you're getting tired. Okay. Yeah, I get it. We're close. Today is like not behaving when I try and click out of something. Um. So we will have no background image on mobile and no bottom padding. Cool, we'll see on the live if it is doing that or not. Do want a top margin though. Um, and I think I'm going to hide this on mobile because... Yeah, just won't be as necessary. Um... Then I just need to make these all span 12 columns. And I think we'll be good. Yep. Oh, wait. Webflow's logic and membership's coming next year. It looks exciting, that's for sure. Um, and I think less space here.
Okay, you take it for current commerce. Okay, so this on mobile should not stack. Um, and I think I'm gonna do it with this image at the bottom. So we'll put this in the third row, spanning both columns. Then you should also span both columns. Um, this is a bit weird, isn't it? How do I want to... Do I do this as vertical? I can't honestly remember how I've done this in the past. This would probably look better stacked as well, wouldn't it? expected. Oh, is it because this is centered? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's publish this, see how we're looking. We might be done with mobile styling, dare I say it. Let's refresh. Something weird is happening with these images on mobile that I can't quite work out. Because I have them set to be 100%. Oh, okay, we need less space here. Where is that space coming from? space coming from wait I'm looking in the wrong place aren't I here aha maybe that'll help want to take off raised it there that's good to keep the card text align should be center what card load 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 Oof, why is that happening? Um, do I have to manually change this on each FAQ thing? I thought that it all had the same. Uh, 
Oh, that's not attached to the class? That's confusing. But okay. What is the x-ray mode? <laughs> Super Scroll. There have been more um, other times, so honestly, having only 40 feels uh, like not many. So it's good. We're cozy. What's scarier is the like thousands who watch back afterwards. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Why are you deciding to stack some of them span 12 columns span 12 columns span 12 span 12 oh there i thought i changed you yeah that's weird yeah i literally just went through and changed you why are you misbehaving okay What does X, how do I do x-ray mode? What is that? I think that um, Webflow would serve you far better for the future than Elementor would. would. Of course, it's totally up to you. Okay, that's better. Sweet. I'm happy with how that's looking. Woot woot. Let's do a quick check through the other breakpoints and make sure that while I was fixing mobile, I didn't break anything else. Yeah, like, does this look too tight now? And why has we got such a large gap there? What happened? Yeah, I thought we added more space there. Did I delete that? That's what I sometimes do. Yeah, what, 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 what happened? <laughs> Oi, you need a lot more padding. Wait, um, not there. Something is going weird with Webflow today because normally you can use the... There we go. The undo is what I was going to say. I had this on, didn't I? Maybe I undid when I set that up? I don't know. Open the menu at the top? What menu do you mean? Oh, interesting. I added it there and not other places. Okay. Now, as we have learned, we cannot judge it based on that view. We have to publish to see. Oh, this one. I see. Uh, no, I do not see. Oh, there. X-ray mode. Ugh. Why would I? Why? What? What is? Are you just seeing like the blocks? Is that what you mean? I don't, that's not, not for me.
yeah, Webflow, I would say use it if you're going to use Webflow hosting. I would not recommend you using Webflow to export the code unless it's a completely static site. That still feels like too much space there. Where is that space coming from? I swear I addressed all these issues earlier. What happened? Yeah, there's only 70 pixels there. Like, what is causing all this space? Oh, is there an extra row that I'm not using or something? Does that image have a large margin on it or something? No? Yeah, um, X-Ray only helps me though, in this view it's looking fine, right? So X-Ray doesn't really help me there, but I get what you're saying. Like I need X-Ray in this mode. Because <laughs> it's definitely coming from this somehow, this row. Oh, I know, is it on the bottom? No. Hmm. That's odd, isn't it? It's like that sixth row is doing something weird. I think I might be better off just putting this in a row of its own. Let's just see what happens when I do that. I thought we were finished. This is so annoying. Okay, yeah, so now we don't have that extra space issue. That's good. Um, but now I need to obviously position the image. And I'm just going to make this go... Um... Eh, whatever, that can stay like that. So image, you can have, I don't know, some negative margin maybe? Let's see how that works. This is my hopeful song. It's coming at just the right time. <laughs> That's better. I think we want a bit more margin though. Wait, what's it doing as I shrink? It's making that less than ideal now, but that's okay, we can fix that. Um, that's why. Okay. She gets bored being stuck in here. Oh, oh. Protecting the coffee. She's going to do some leaping again. I can feel it. Why does that happen? I do not know. But I have the iPhone mini, so it seems to be working on my screen. Okay, 
right, so the squiggle now needs a bit of replacing. I think for now we're going to call that good. Um, come back to our to-do list. That one took us a while, huh? I think we spent like an hour and a half just on that one. Let's try some animation! Now we get to do the fun stuff! Woot, woot, woot. Okay, so how do I do subtle image parallax webflow? Let's watch some tutorials. As we know, a parallax effect is one where objects which are closer appear to move faster relative to objects farther away. And by extension of the same logic, objects which are farther away appear to move more slowly. In this project, hey Brandy. we have a section containing Yes, this is what I want to do. Our goal here is to make the images closer to us appear to move more quickly as we scroll through our section. And to do that, we're not going to select the element or elements we want to move. We'll instead select the section because we want our section to act as the trigger. We want the images to move as we scroll through our section. So okay. here we are with no interactions applied. Let's go in and create an animation based on the section while it's scrolling in our view. So I will do that on, I guess this top thing, right? Uh, let's do a cleanup of styles. Let's remove everything we're not using. Okay. And let's do while scrolling in view. On scroll, we'll play our scroll animation. Okay. Play scroll animation. And we will say header images. Now, we can change the animation boundaries here if we'd like. This is super powerful. But for now, let's leave it so that the animation begins when the section starts entering the viewport and ends so I might change this when bit. the we'll element see. is fully invisible once we scroll past the section. And with that in mind, let's build our animation. And we can um, this is making me think I actually shouldn't apply it to this. I should apply it to this. But it's kind of all visible at once. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I think it will have it on the larger one. Parallax scroll effect. We'll start with this image, and the first step is to select it. We'll add a scroll action, which affects the way this moves. So while the section... Then move, okay. So in here, we're going to select image one, add move. Is it zero percent right as it's starting to scroll into view? Let's have our image start down a bit. And when the section is at 100%, let's move it up. We can actually flip on live preview and see the effect as we scroll. The image appears to move. Okay, let's just play around with it and see what happens. So, if this is where we want it to end, do we start down? Oh, I didn't set something yet. And then... Uh, that's because my section is so large, huh? Mm, I think I am gonna change my boundary thing. Actually, maybe I will apply it to, yeah. Okay, scratch this. 
I'm going to apply it to this header section. But we can apply the offset here so that maybe it'll last a bit longer. I think that's what that's going to mean. It's not doing anything right now. <laughs> Okay, so I have it there, then there. So is it too subtle? I don't know. No, because it should. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I guess it's because this element is never going to be fully invisible, right? Oh, right, that's the entrance, so I want to... Oh, okay. So now it's doing something, but it's not doing what I want it to do, that's for sure. Let's try with no offset. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Okay, that's better. Slightly. But it's still not what we really want, is it? Um... Thank you, Coco. I didn't see you put that message in the chat. That would have saved me some time, wouldn't it? I think I actually want it to start above and come down. That's kind of nice. That's the kind of subtlety I want. Okay, let's just try it with some other images too. So we also want to do it with this one. But we'll break it out so that it's moving at a different time because I'm assuming that's the... Like the secret to it, right? Okay. Next one. Oops. I'm really just randomly doing things now, but that's okay. Very subtle, isn't it? Maybe it's a little too subtle. Maybe I actually want this to be further down. Nope. Oh, I don't like that. How it's doing that hiding thing. Mm. Maybe that's to do with the offset bit. Yeah, okay, so this, we do not want you to... No, it's this one. I don't want it to come down so far. Use relative actions units for the mood because viewpoint and height is relative. Um, right, so you're meaning I should use view height rather than pixels in here. Let's just add in the last one.
This one isn't moving as much as I would like it to be. Yeah, that's better. Okay, but we gotta change these all to view height, because Coco said so. Um So I think it's good that I have them all ending on, oops, on their zero. Um, Subtract a number from a collection item using a form. Oh gosh, that sounds complicated, Tyron. I don't know. Okay, let's see what's happening now. These two are moving at a far too similar rate. Um... That's better. Cool. Save. Happy, I think. And let's also add like an appearance animation to this. Drop in? You did not do a single thing. <laughs> okay, so maybe that doesn't work while there is a... Okay, that'll do. And this one can come in from the right with a bit of an offset. Yep. Um. Not sure how much these offsets are actually on it. Oh, it's actually a delay that I want to do, isn't it? Not an offset. Yeah. So let's edit these ones. What the? Why is my... Why is it not letting me edit that? There we go. Weird. Okay, well, you're weird. Um Why am I just doing four milliseconds? That's clearly way too short. <laughs> Scroll into view. You can slide from the right. Okay. Ooh, that wasn't good though, that it did that. Like, it jumped up. How do I stop it doing that? 
Maybe I have to actually start them on zero in that parallax, but yeah, I think that might be the case. Or let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe if they all start up here. Nope, it still did the jumping up, didn't it? Yeah, okay, I think I have to start them on zero and then have the change happen after. Let's just see what this looks like, huh? No, why did it still do that? Mm. Okay, let me try putting them all back up the top again. They're all using view height. Maybe I actually need to apply it to this section. Yeah, okay, let's try that. Let's just try it. Um. Okay, so they need much more movement then. That's a bit better. But I want to change the rates more. This is a lot of fine tuning, huh? Like, I think we can have it be more extreme, maybe? I also never finished the tutorial, I just jumped straight into trying to figure out how to do it myself. Yeah, let's make this one even more extreme, because it's looking good. Let's make this one super slow. And maybe this one only does five. Yep. Okay. You can slide in. Yeah, yay animations indeed. This is definitely the fun part. Ooh, I wonder if these could look cool for this one. Hmm, like it's something a bit different, you know? Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> Can I maybe make you jiggle slightly less? No, okay. Um. That's interesting. 
Nope, don't like that. Maybe the pop was okay. Maybe we'll make that a style that we do on all of these. Um, but this one I want to delay so that it doesn't ever happen at the same time as the other one. Is the pop the favorite? Definitely not that. Whoa, that's too intense. Nope. Wish you could like change that to be slightly less intense, but then we'll have this one slide in. Something I never often do is um animations out too, which could be interesting. Now let's try add a parallax on this guy, how about? So maybe we add it into the same... Hmm. No, I think we need to make it different. Another while scrolling in view animation. Start animation. About image. move I'm not sure how this is gonna oh that's so nice yeah why well, that's not doing what I want okay how much Do I need to bring it closer or further? I'm not sure. New preview? I think that's working how I want. Let's see. Maybe a little bit too much. I wonder if we want to do a subtle parallax on this guy too. I don't know. Okay, and then we'll have this do the same as its friends. Pop. Is it too much to put one on each of these? Yeah, because they're all going to come in together, so I don't want to do that. Uh, but we can do a parallax on this as well. So that will go on this. Oh, I see, because I've done it like that. Okay, well, that's right. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, maybe we have this go the other way? I don't know. Is it just me or is it like being really jittery? This we will have. Oop, first, let's save that. Slide in from the right, and then this.
Yeah, the hero images have got a parallax. It's very subtle. Maybe it's too subtle. I can try to get some more extreme with it. See how this one's moving at a different rate? Okay. I feel like that's fine for now though. Let's tick off animation. Um, and that's all the stuff that I feel like I can really do today. Um, I guess I could add the fav icon. Fabicon. What have we used for this one? Just a... Uh, regular ConvertKit logo. What's a yellow note be about? Hmm. It does, it has the website. What are you talking about? But I'm not using that one. That's weird. Okay. Settings. Maybe I should do the plus. Could be cool. How big do they want it to be? 32. But for the 256 to 256, just in case. I mean, I don't know if anyone actually does this, but we'll do the whole logo. So far, um, I have streamed the entire build process of the site. I didn't do anything on it when I wasn't streaming. So that means it has completely all been captured, which is kind of cool. And that means it's taken me I don't know, how long was the last stream? Maybe it's been like five and a half hours total, the build? Ooh. Sweet. And we got the little favor icon out there. All right. We'll switch back to this view now. We did it, team. Thanks so much for accompanying me on this journey. Um, yeah, feel happy with where we're at. We need some final content, but right now what I'll do is share this link with the team. They can look at it and um, yeah, I'll let them know that I, now I need the speaker info essentially and all the FAQs to be confirmed. Cool. I'm really happy with how this went. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate you being here. I really enjoy your company as we do this. 
uh, I just find that streaming really does help me like focus, you know, I haven't checked Twitter once for the past three hours, which is a big problem for me <laughs> in, um, yeah, normal times. I have half an hour now to eat some lunch before I have an afternoon of meetings. And I think we're going to be going live this afternoon, um, 6.30, my time. So in like four hours um, for the Future Belongs to Creators podcast. That happens on the ConvertKit YouTube channel. So you should come join us over there, youtube.com slash ConvertKit. Um, yeah, I go live with two workmates for a podcast that we record live every Wednesday. So hopefully I can see you over there. Yeah, um, and one more time, the pages.charliemarie.com slash coworking. Let me put it in the chat right now. Because the, the people said that that um, YouTube doesn't always notify you when I'm live. So I've set that page up. You can sign up and um, I will send you an email when I'm going to go live. I'll try and remember to do that. It'll be a new part of the process for me. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the regulars. Thanks for the new folks who came along. It's really nice to see you in the chat and hopefully I'll see you in the next one also. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. Bye.